The head of the Athletics Integrity Unit, Brett Clothier, has expressed his satisfaction with the steps Kenya has made so far in the fight against the doping menace. He, however, cautioned that the country still has a long way to go before it gets out of the red zone. Clothier was speaking Saturday in Kaptagat, Elgeo Marakwet County, where he had a session with the athletes who train at the high altitude area. The AIU boss, who is in the country for a one week tour, has been traversing athletics rich regions and also meeting government officials and athletic stakeholders in order to assess the country's progress in the fight against the doping menace. This comes as the Anti Doping Agency of Kenya, ADAC, and Athletics Kenya are putting in the final touches to establish an office in Eldoret, Wasingishu County, to serve the athletes, majority of whom train in towns and areas closer to the champions. All the time to Nairobi to seek for visas, we want to reduce that and give them more time to train in their respective areas as they process their visas so that we make it more efficient for them to apply for visa if they want to travel. Um, so it's very important for us to talk to the athletes, explain what we're doing. They're seeing a lot more testing uh, on the ground. They're seeing a lot of new rules and processes relating to how they register for competitions. So it's important to speak to the athletes, hear what they have to say, get their feedback um, and, and, and let them understand you know, our goals and what we're doing. So I think um, uh, we're progressing well. I, we are at the start of the journey though, so there's a lot, of, um, a lot more work to do.